previously on YouTube, The Drawing Dead. Saturday, April 28th, it's about quarter till five, and I think sooner than later, I'm going to be getting out of here and getting into a 2-5 game up the street at the casino, but I got a couple things around here I got to do first, so I'm going to finish up some laundry, take a shower, release a vlog from day one at Stones, and then we're going to get into some poker. Maybe I'll break out the drone tonight. It's nice outside. Maybe. Hours ago. Hours and hours ago I said I was leaving. I didn't leave. But I got a lot of stuff done around here. But now it is time to go. It's like 8 o'clock. It's time to go. So I'm going. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. So, but, uh... But I do agree that you kind of forget about the cameras and stuff after a while. Yeah, um, after a while. Yeah. To a certain extent. I mean, you know, you know what's going on. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd hate to go to L.A. for the first time and then be like, oh, we got to be here by 5 to be on the live stream. People love the, people love the live stream, but now, yeah, you don't want to. Yeah, now, if we could yeah. both get on the live stream, that might make it worth it. Well, if we, like, think about it, if we call them, like, a month ahead of time, oh, and we're yeah. like, hey, reserve us two spots, like, there's no way that, like, the, the, they have a full table reserved a month in advance. Right. I've never played at Caesars. You've never played that? No. Like, ever? No. I don't think I've ever even seen the poker room. Oh. Well, I, well I take that back. I, 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 I have seen the poker room. I guess they moved it, though, since I've seen it. Like, because I remember it was, it was kind of hidden. In the secret, secret passage? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there was, like, a secret way to get into it. I'm like, what? Oh, um, you haven't seen the new room? No. No, uh, no. The first time yeah, I it was ever in Vegas, I saw the Caesar's Poker Room, um, mm -hmm. but I I remember I was scared to play in it. What? What? Yeah, I remember it was the first the first time I ever went to Vegas. I was scared to play in the Caesar's Poker Room because I thought like it was Caesar's, you know, like that's where like like seriously in my mind back then, like that's where all the pros would be playing. Like, and I didn't want to play with the pros. Because I know what it's like to be scared. You get scared? Yeah, sure, everybody gets scared sometimes. Uh, oh, I like, see. Yeah. Your impression was that those were the toughest games in town. Oh, yeah, because it's Caesars. You know, like... It's Caesars, yeah. It's got, it's, it has, like, a name. Right. So, yeah, and then... big name, I Yeah. And, uh... Then I remember... And then that's when I first started playing at Bally's. Like, I was staying at Bally's, and I was like, oh, I'll just play at Bally's. <laughs> And then you realize that's where all the pros play. Yeah. Ballas. Ballas. <laughs> the, the land that poker forgot. <laughs> it, is, it is the land that poker forgot. That's exactly what it was. Yeah. Or what it is. It is. So I'm here in Maryland Heights, Missouri. And the night has already got off to an eventful start. You can't tell because you normally see me in the parking garage right when I get to the casino. But I've been here damn near 15 minutes. My car keys decided to fall underneath my seat to where I couldn't reach them. So I spent the last 15 minutes digging around underneath my seat trying to get my damn car keys out. So car keys were retrieved. I'm on the list. Been on the list for a while now. Let's just get in there and play some poker, why don't we? Tonight will be a good night. At least I'm feeling like it's gonna be good. It should be good. Why wouldn't it be good?
why you want to woo woo. It's that woo woo. You know what I'm saying? Then you I'm going to give you tips for the next half hour, however long he's here. Don't worry, it won't be much. <laughs> it won't be much. Good luck to you, actually. <laughs> Do you have any green or black chips back there? Shit, Negro, that's all you had to say. Yeah. Shit out of yeah, <laughs> what do you mean I have the best hand? Well, I mean, yeah. Well, on the floppy, the, the, you picked up bounce on the turn and caught him on the river. Oh, That Auntie M's is still calling me. Was that what it was? It wasn't Auntie M's. I don't remember. The pretzel place. I'm not going there. But it's talking to me. What was it? Auntie something. How can I not remember this? So let's talk about this uh, game I'm in. The Limpy Limp 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 Fest. 1-2 game. 
because for some reason 2-5 isn't running tonight. The game is mad frustrating. I say that, and by the tone of my voice, it probably sounds like I'm down, but I'm not. I'm actually up. I'm up. I'm up pretty good. I'm up like 300, 250, enough. I'm having a profitable session. It's pretty easy to play against players that just limp, limp, limp. But after a while, all the limping just gets frustrating. It's almost like they don't want to win pots. I don't know what they want to win. I don't... What are we going to do about the people who've been born this way? I've never understood the excessive amount of limping that goes on here, but it seems like it's getting worse and worse. Good for me. I just don't understand it. But needless to say, the game I'm in is good. It's actually damn good. And I'm up, which is also good. But right now I'm just going through a small period of having really no cards to play. I want a sizable hand with 10-9 offsuit. I want a sizable hand with pocket kings. Both played very straightforwardly. And that's about it. I'm running good when I pick up hands, and I'm folding when I don't have any hands. Typical one, two. I'm pretty sure we're closer to end of session than we are mid session, though. So let's get back in there. I'm gonna finish this up. That's it. <laughs> Just get it in with the best hand. That's what happens. <laughs> It's easy when you get hands like this. Oh no, I'm sure. So, I didn't mean to show that. I meant to show that. <laughs> <laughs> I showed the wrong one. I gave you guys too much information. <laughs> You guys know how I play King of Hearts. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> That's, That's when you want to shove. I had the same hand back to back. Well. <laughs> nice hand.
Another day, another dollar, you know? I guess technically it's kind of like another night, another dollar. Obviously session is over. In for 400, out for 913. So up 513 in a pretty ho-hum game. To be honest, there was nothing special about my game. There was nothing there was nothing special about the spots I was in. Everything was pretty super straightforward. Even by St. Louis standards though, my game was uber tight. Uber, uber tight. People checking back flushes, people checking back river two pairs, double checks with flop sets. I mean it was uh pretty interesting. It's one of those games where you're basically walking through a minefield. Because everybody's just trying to trap. But the crazy thing about their traps is even when they get you in the trap, they don't really spring it. They just wait for you to bet and then they just call you. Frustrating sometimes, profitable most times, and even when it's not immediately profitable, you don't lose as much as you probably should lose. So I guess I shouldn't complain about that. But none of that really applies to me tonight because I had a winning session. So what am I bitching about? But it's time to go. It's time to go, it's time to get some sleep. Don't know if I'm gonna play tomorrow. Probably not. But even if I don't, you guys will still see me soon. But thanks for watching. If you like the videos, hit the thumbs up icon. Subscribe for notifications and leave me a comment and I will probably, most likely, respond in some fashion. And I will see you guys later. Next time on YouTube's The Drawing Dead. Just got off the live stream. You probably think that you are better now, better now. You only say that because I'm not around, not around. And now he comes out and he bets 100 again. Now we've talked about how, you know, the bet of the same size on a subsequent street is usually. These games aren't good. I'm out. I'm gonna be folding out quite a bit, even sometimes ace high types of hands. He's got that Bill Cosby thing going on, doesn't he? Steve Wynn? Yeah, he does. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, he's got that. Okay. But I bet you all those little places are like that. Bally's or Flamingo or Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Or like sure. that time we it's all we like... played at Harrah's. Like they're all they're all the, the same. But all the limping sometimes. I don't get what <clears throat> you, went you went out and put your block in, huh? I did. Yeah. There's the gambling you're talking exactly. about. Well, I'm qualified this time. That's <laughs> qualified. <laughs> good luck with the qualification. Yeah, good luck to you, too. But the first thing I have to do is take a shower because I haven't left the house all damn day. And to be honest, I have on the exact same clothes I had on yesterday. That's nasty, isn't it? But not. And getting into a two, everything was uh, pretty, even by St. Louis standards. It was one of those games where you have to. Jamin Burton, reach the bank, rose hurting at the table On a quest to stack 10 G's, nothing less than set straights and flushes So when you see him at the table, come correct, you bluff us He ain't taking no shortcuts, he's all about money